That's not a switch. That is a switch. So what is this? It's the iPega 9083B controller. And this controller is really something that basically you can put your tablet inside of it and turn it into a switch. I think it's a lot of fun. There's definitely some considerations that you have to have when this, so the support, the quality, everything. And overall, let's go over those differences to see if this is right for you. Now, when it comes to emulators, of course, I should do a disclaimer, and that is that you should own these games. I do still have my Wii, I still do have my Mario Kart, and that's why I can play this one on here. But you wanna be careful, of course, you don't wanna play games that you don't own on emulators for legal reasons. Now, I will say that I definitely have had fun with my old Dreamcast games, with my old Super Nintendo games, and just lots of fun playing different consoles. But of course, you can not only do emulators, but you can do all current gen games too on here uh, for all Android gaming. Now, I did have a mixture. Sometimes the keyboard controller for the normal Android input did not work that well outside of emulation, but luckily with the key mapper, it typically fixed anything. Now there are still some bugs I would say. Uh, with Call of Duty, there was one icon that for some reason would not work. I don't know why, but uh, switching your guns basically would not work on it. So everything else did fine, but that was just one thing I was kind of like, I don't know why this isn't working. But okay, so when it comes to the controller, there are three different kind of modes. First one is going to be an Android one. This one is for any touchscreen game where you'd want to map out the keys, kind of like a HUD, like a Call of Duty or something along those lines. Second one is going to be for iOS devices. So this one will be for any iOS device and that will make this one work with an iPad or any kind of iOS device. The next one is a default Android controller. So most games will respond to this one automatically because it's just a standard uh, map out controller for Android. So most games will do this unless you need a specific touch screen kind of game, then you're gonna want this. Basically this one I would do for more emulators, uh, any kind of emulator you wanna play, that would be it. And this one may be again, more for a touch screen heavily based game that doesn't really support controllers or doesn't support this controller properly. So I had mentioned you could actually map out the controllers and with the keyboard style, on the Android icon, you just simply tap this three times and that brings up everything. So you can bring up everything you want. Let me just move it so you can kind of see. X, so you can move that where you want it to go. Y, you can move it where you want it to go. B, you can move where you want it to go. You also have a Y2, which is kind of an interesting thing. You can really play around with a lot of these things, but basically you can just move these exactly where you want them to be and including like your joystick and your R3 button, which is of course if you press the joystick. So all of this is mapped out and easy to kind of just exactly how you want it to go. And I like that just because of course you can kind of play around with it and really customize any game the way you want it. So I wanted to show you guys also how to actually put this on a tablet. And first off, you have to extend this part and that one will stay and then you lock it. And then if you do happen to have the biggest kind of tablet, then you still want to extend this one all the way. Now, how do I put the 12 inch one in here? Well, for that, you're going to have to open it up and then slide it in from the top so that it will fit in or else it just will not fit properly. You can't do it sideways, you just don't have enough space. You really have to come in from the top and then just slide it in like that. Now, who is this device for? Well, basically it is for people that do travel a lot and that just want one device to hold up. This is really great when traveling because just like a switch, you don't have to have a stand or a place to put the tablet. The tablet is just all screen right between your controllers. So really good for car rides and traveling when you can just basically be on the go and playing your game. As you can see, it fits up to a 12.4 inch tablet. So almost any single Android tablet should fit in here just fine. You might have to take the case off as I did for this one, but it does fit. 
Overall, do I recommend this? Well, I think it's definitely for a specific type of person. Now, are there better controllers out there? Yes, for certain case scenarios, I would recommend a better controller like the Razer Raiju Mobile that I personally love as my favorite controller. More professional quality, you have tournament buttons on the back, and just really, really good quality and great support from Razer. Again, this one really has its place as you do not have to put your tablet anywhere. So I think when you travel and you do not have a place to put a tablet, this is a great way to go and definitely a lot of fun to be had. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Are you going to pick one up and make your Android into an Android Switch? Thank you as always for watching. This has been R-I-C-K-Y, the YouTube Tech Guy. Thank you so much again for watching. Make sure to subscribe, like, and comment down below. Also, follow us on social media at YouTube Tech Guy. And check out some more great tech videos on your screen right now.